Well, we we just announced last year 2030 vision. Are uh, based upon that, we are making transition towards more electrification. Right now are the biggest and most powerful vehicle that Mazda has ever built in the high-stakes world of auto innovation. One company dares to challenge the electric vehicle revolution. While giants rush to electrify, Mazda has been quietly plotting a course that could rewrite everything we know about automotive technology. Deep in their research labs, engineers have been developing something that whispers a transformation, a technological breakthrough that could turn the industry on its head. This isn't just another incremental improvement. This is a bold declaration of engineering prowess, a potential game share that promises to challenge our most fundamental assumptions about how vehicles should move, perform, and exist in our rapidly changing world. What is a new hybrid engine or about let's find out the legacy of innovation? Mazda CEO recently made a bold declaration the company's forthcoming engine is poised to disrupt the entire electric vehicle industry. This announcement has sent ripples through the automotive world hinting at a groundbreaking development on the horizon. To appreciate the magnitude of this claim, it's essential to delve into Mazda's rich history and narrative marked by resilience, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of engineering excellence. In 1920, in the aftermath of World War I, Hiroshima's economy was in dire straits. Amidst this economic turmoil, a group of local businessmen founded Toyo Korkio aiming to revitalize the region by producing cork-based product. The company initially focused on manufacturing compressed corkboard, a venture that showed promise until a devastating fire in 1925 destroyed 70% of its equipment. This calamity could have spelled the end for the fledgling enterprise but it instead set the stage for a remarkable transformation. In 1921, Gyroscope Motsuda assumed the presidency of Toyak Kork Kuyo. With a background in engineering and a visionary outlook, Jujiro steered the company toward diversification. Recognizing the limitations of the cork industry, he initiated a shift toward manufacturing machine tools. This not only salvaged the company but also laid the groundwork for its future endeavors in the automotive sector. By 1931, Toyota Kogio, as it was then known, ventured into vehicle production with the introduction of the Mazda Go 3-wheeled open truck that bore more resemblance to a motorcycle with a cargo bed than to modern automobiles. This vehicle marked the company's inaugural step into the realm of transportation, embodying a spirit of innovation that would become synonymous with the Mazda name. The choice of the name Mazda for this vehicle was symbolic. It was derived from Ahura Mazda, the god of harmony, intelligence, and wisdom in Zoroastrianism, reflecting the company's aspiration to contribute positively to society through intelligent design and harmonious engineering. Additionally, the name resonated with the surname of the company's founder, Motsuda, creating a personal connection to the brand's identity. Then the outbreak of World War II saw Toyoko Keio contributing to Japan's war efforts by producing weapons, most notably the Type 99 rifle. The war left Hiroshima devastated, but the company's facilities remarkably survived the atomic bombing. In the post-war era, Kayo faced the monumental task of rebuilding and redefining its role in a rapidly changing world. In 1960, the company made a significant leap by introducing its first passenger car, the Mazda R360. This compact coupe was a response to Japan's growing demand for affordable personal transportation. The R360 was well received, offering an economical and stylish option for the masses. That success signaled Mazda's potential in the passenger car market and set the stage for future innovations. Their commitment to innovation became particularly evident in the 1960s when the company took a daring step by adopting the Wankel rotary engine developed by German engineer Felix WKL. This engine was compact and lightweight, offering a high power-to-weight ratio. However, 
Early prototypes were fraught with challenges, including durability issues that led to engine failures within hours of operation. Undeterred, Mazda's engineers embarked on an ambitious journey to refine and commercialize a rotary engine. Their perseverance culminated in the launch of the Mazda Cosmos Sport 110s in 1967, the world's first production car powered by a twin rotor rotary engine. This achievement not only showcased Mazda's engineering prowess, but also underscored the company's willingness to challenge conventional automotive norms. Still, Mazda's innovative spirit extended beyond engineering to encompass design philosophy. The company's commitment to creating vehicles that are both functional and aesthetically pleasing has been a consistent theme throughout its history. This dedication is particularly evident in the evolution of Mazda's design language, which has continually sought to capture the essence of motion and elegance. In the late 20th century, the company introduced designs that emphasized sleek lines and aerodynamic forms, reflecting a harmony between form and function. This approach not only enhanced the visual appeal of Mazda vehicles but also contributed to improved performance and efficiency. The design philosophy has evolved over the years, culminating in the contemporary Kodo soul of motion design language, which embodies a dynamic beauty of life in motion. Mazda's journey has not been without financial challenges. In fact, in the late 20th century the company faced economic hardships that threatened its independence. During this period, Mazda entered into a partnership with Ford Motor Company, which acquired a significant stake in the Japanese automaker. This alliance provided Mazda with much-needed financial stability and facilitated technology sharing between the two companies. Be it as it may, Mazda remained steadfast in preserving its unique identity and engineering philosophy. The company continued to develop its own technologies and maintain a distinct brand image. By the early 2000s, Ford reduced its stake in Mazda, allowing the Japanese company to regain greater autonomy and continue its pursuit of independent innovation. Although we are here to talk about the revolutionary engine and to understand why Mazda CEO is convinced it would take over EVs, we must first understand how we even got here, the evolution of engine technology. You see, the journey of engine technology is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of efficiency, performance, and environmental stewardship. From the rudimentary steam engines of the 18th century to the sophisticated internal combustion engines and the advent of electric vehicles, the evolution of propulsion systems has been a key component in shaping modern transportation.